and then get his safe pressure. Oh, so yeah. Those are dangerous booms, right? Because she can jump from about three quarter screen and land a jumping roundhouse. But at the same time, you have to exert those booms at some point. Yes, it was definitely dangerous to do it early, but you know what? At least he got that exertion. Ooh, Papa won that chase down that back dash. And you got to make sure that your your meaty pressure on Mika is legit because he's going to press jab on Wake Up. Oh, you have to check it at some point. Oh, dirty booms here from Cheese. Get Pavocado into the corner. One hit away from stun and. Oh, the defense. Oh, yeah. and that was unsafe. Yeah, Pavo blocked his way out of there. That was awesome. Dude, that's one something that makes Pavo scary is the fact that he plays Armika, he knows how to play calm. He knows how to sit there and just, you know, block it out sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, great air to air. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Dude, that Dude. was that was very well played by Cheese. I mean, he he hit he had the, the quick little mix-up, brought it out early. It ended up working out, taking the round for him. Got the lead and then ended up clutching out the rest of the round. I mean, the, the thing, though, is when you are playing against Armiga, there's always those scary points. You could be doing great, but then you get hit once, and your life could just be deleted. But you know what? Hey, HFG still good neutral. Can yeah. take the early life lead here. Yeah, challenges. So he, he blocked the crouch and hard punch, and just negative. So he challenged with the jab. Gets uh, paid out for it. Oh. Oh, so close to stun. Stun throw. Yeah. Oh, my god. HFG is, you know what? He is proving himself right now. New blood being the old blood, it's happening yeah. right now. Yeah, no, so this is interesting. Now, I, I, I want to know what Pavo is going to do to counteract this. It looks like Cheese is very confident in the matchup. Like, he's he's Round proven one. that he knows what to do to Fight. shut down his shut down Mika's offense. And he goes for the risky start with the bazooka knee, but he's representing that, that uh, Mika doesn't just get to do what she wants. Right? No. He does not. <laughs> and I, I think when you get a Mika player feeling that way to walking backwards and blocking, I think you're kind of winning there. Yeah, the fact that normally it's just like you're walking away from Mika, Mika's just chasing you down, and you're yeah. in that hut mode. Yeah. But no, you're right. She's just doing a great job of saying, hey, I'm a Street Fighter. I can show my own game here. I got my own pressure tools. <gasps> well, that was such a dangerous clap. Oh my god. Here we go, though. Pavocado in there. Oh, and there we go. Time for the mind games. Time to play rock, paper, scissors. And oh, too bad. Yeah, th that V reversal is actually throw and vulnerable. You can mediate with an attack, but it is throw and vulnerable. That was it right there. That was a great reset. And it was one of those combos where it looked like he was going to do the second hit into the Irish whip. Um, and just goes for the EX uh, giant swing. By, by the way, I think you meant his V trigger, not the V reversal. Yes, you're absolutely right. Just, thank uh, you. just for the stream. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. For the people. But HFG, despite that last round, getting sit on that full stick of, uh, stick of butter there. We've seen him confirm into before. Great way to get a life lead. But Pavocado, smart player. It looks like he's making some adjustments here. Yeah, so Cheese is in the corner. He's looking to probably, oh, fights his way out. Dude, Great he's job. fighting. He's pressing buttons. You know, oh, that didn't chase down. Pavo just racked it to the jump, didn't rise. It was a back jump. Yeah, I love the choice there to actually spend the meter, right? To take, take the life lead, take the advantage, and get an Oki set up. Oh, but this is a big chance here for Pavo. Gets the chase down into the corner. Mika time. Oh, my God. The V triggers from Nash. V triggers. Disgusting. Final round. Fight. All right. Slowing it down. Yeah, back so to that song, boom game. And you know what? Despite what you said earlier, Pavo has not found that big jump in yet. Oh my God! That's true. He's respecting. He doesn't. He is looking for something. You know, maybe maybe Nash goes for a risk and tries to jump at him, and he wants to take the advantage that way without risking himself. Yeah, or at least get in that tumble range, the drop kick range, challenge the boom that way instead of just trying for the raw jumps. Ooh, that's that a very note. difficult jump to anti-air. All corner, right, corner carry with the ex shooting peach. Dude, it's so disgusting. Mika gets it every time. Has mirror instantly to the corner. This time's the meaty. Oh, okay. And it's done. There we go. Pavocado changing up, buying his offense, getting the damage in. So I believe that uh, that setup right there is actually it's unblockable. Where or um, what was it? I remember someone did a tech off that earlier in the year, but I think that is the one escape is that you hold up back and you get reset by Nadeshko, but you're still in the corner. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not surprised because guys some of those setups where. There's a hit and a th uh, command grab coming at the same time, and it kind of sucks. Yep. Oh, guess that crush counter didn't have mirror to follow up. 
So it looks like Pablo has a little better reader, is a, a stronger control on this this game after taking game two. A little bit. Establishing the boom game. <gasps> They're finally finding those big jump ins, and that's gonna hurt. Mix up is as well. But dude, great job of cheese, just staying calm. Ugh. Out of the corner. V trigger. Nash. So dirty. Yeah, it is. It's pretty pretty solid. <laughs> very <laughs> useful tool that he has. <laughs> to say the least. Right. Moving. Oh, and they're finally getting to sit down and hit those command grabs finally. Yep. All right. So just like that, Paul Mikado has turned it around. He's on match point. Dude, the machine. You fed him some data. He made some adjustments. He's like, all right, here's what I got to do to win. I got the numbers. I got the variables. Yep. Great tech by Pavo. A lot of times that dash of throw is, is very difficult to react to. Uh, you're positive one after that roll setup, by the way. That was great discipline to not press the button. Cheese, though, doesn't look too phased. Still has this usual setup. Doesn't want to burn the bar just yet. Oh, my God. Love the spacing. Yeah, great anti air. Oh. <gasps> Finally finds a tumble. What a way in. Finding the gaps. Back in the corner now, but Cheese still on the defensive. Oh, that's, that's going to be it. big. Oh. But the drops. Oh, no, not what you want against Mika. Corner time. What's the mix up? Out. Whew. Run, okay. Gets run. out with his life at least. D down to everything right now. Can he hold the zone? Can he keep the wall going? So I expect an anti-air super. I mean, it's potentially there. Oh, my God. You almost made the call. But the tumble challenges the boom. And Pavlocato will send HF Cheese down to losers. That was a really, really cool set That where it looked like Cheese had the game, his game plan really he had strong control of it, right? And then Pavo made a clutch adjustment in game two. He was just able to understand the neutral that HF Cheese was playing just enough to be able to find one big key jump in, one key tumble, and, you know, do the Mika. Get in, 